So if you've never heard from me before, you haven't been to one of our webinars, my name is Evan, Evan Marks. I'm the product owner of the Smileback team in ConnectWise. What that means is, is I work on developing the Smileback product, researching ideas, talking to partners like yourselves to get ideas and hear what you'd like to see from the product, having a look at how we can most add value. But also when we do launch new features, like our project surveys, I help to promote that and make sure that people are seeing that we've got this new stuff, using it, sharing their experiences with us. What we're going to be talking about today is project surveys. This was launched just a few weeks ago. And so far it's available to the majority of existing Smileback partners, but not everyone. If you were sent out the invites to this webinar, you should already have access to it. If you don't just drop us an email help at smileback.com and I'll check it out, but it will get rolled out to everyone who uses ConnectWise Manage, ConnectWise PSA uh, shortly. So if you don't have it yet, you will have it quite soon. To give you a little overview then of what we'll be talking about in this webinar, we're going to talk a little bit about why to survey on projects. Why is this valuable? What kind of issues can it help us avoid? What kind of opportunities can it present for us? Then we are going to jump into looking at the Smileback project surveys feature itself. How does it work? What is in there? We'll then talk a little bit more about the future, the roadmap, you know, what we might be doing throughout the rest of this year and next year. Uh, and then I'm going to leave plenty of time for questions, but let's get on with it. Yeah. Why survey on projects then, you know, you know, I know. Projects, major business area for MSPs, obviously it varies from company to company, but I would say from people I've spoken to, from my understanding of the industry, almost all MSPs are doing some amount of project work. And for a lot of people, it's actually a very big part of their business, along with the ongoing managed services side of things. And it can be a major driver of repeat business and organic business growth. When you carry out projects for people, you help them grow their business or move their business infrastructure to a more modern, uh, secure, productive footing. Obviously that's helping to grow their business. It's helping to strengthen your relationship with them. And a project done well can lead on to more business with that company and maybe even refer us to new companies down the line. But there's also major pitfalls, of course. And I think we're probably all aware of projects that have gone wrong. You may have been involved in one yourself. They are a staple of the media here in Berlin you know, our airport that came in something like 11 years delayed, things like the post office computers in the UK. We can all think of projects where the scope hasn't been defined, the needs have changed, the technology has been out of date by the time it gets launched, the clients and the providers have got completely different ideas of what's supposed to happen. And obviously we want to avoid that, right? And surveys and customer feedback is a part of that, you know, along with your professionalism, your planning, your scoping, getting data, getting feedback from your clients about projects, both while they're happening and at the end of them, and we'll talk about how we measure at these different times is so, so important because it lets you know when things are going wrong so that you can course correct, or at least you can avoid making the same mistakes in the future. And it lets you know what's doing right. You know, you can find out what are the strengths in your own business and your team when it comes to delivering projects and how can you double down on that? How can you get new joiners understanding what it is that works well? And there are two quite simple key considerations that are going to help you survey and gather customer feedback from projects. What are you going to ask and when to ask it, when are you going to ask it and the way that we have created our project surveys in Smileback, it's very logical, makes it very easy to fulfill both parts of this. In terms of what to ask, of course, you can just ask how did this project go overall, but we understand, you know, from where we did our research on this, where we spoke to some partners who were interested, it's very clear to us very quickly that people want to get information about some different areas of projects, communication, delivery the actual technological uh, results, things like that. Thinking in advance before you start this, 
what do we want to know about what's the most critical thing to us uh, that's going to help you and then when to ask it so i mentioned about asking for feedback while the project is ongoing and then at the end again very very important there are obviously different key moments in a project and the way that it is organized within ConnectWise PSA is you can of course have phases inside your projects. So maybe it's uh, planning, delivery and assessment. Maybe it's far more complex than that. Maybe there are five, seven, eight, 11 different stages uh, or phases as well as closing the overall project. These are all opportunities for you. You might not want to do it at every single phase. I think what we imagine people are going to do is probably ask a couple of times during a longer project and at the end, and with a short project, maybe just at the end, maybe once it became once at the end. What's really exciting about this is this is a new area for Smellback. So I don't have a particularly firm dogma of what I'm going to tell you to do. I'm just going to introduce you to what we have. And what I really hope we can take away from this webinar is that you're going to go away, try out project service and smile back, and then you're going to tell us what you think about it. So let's get on to the thing that I'm sure everyone is waiting to see. And that is taking a look inside Smileback itself and taking a look at project surveys. So as I say, this has been released to people who are on our existing Smileback subscriptions. Basically, if you pay Smileback directly for your company card, you should already have this. It's possible you individually as a user might not have the permissions for it yet. So if you think your company should have this and you can't see it again, help at smileback.com. We can check out and we might just need to adjust your permissions. But if I just go back over to our main dashboard for a second, this is of course what you'll be familiar with. This is an account that already has a few um, test results in it. So that's why some of this is looking a little bit sparse. But you'll notice on the left hand of the page in the quick menu down here, there's now these two new icons, project survey manager and project survey results. Alternatively, if I click on the main menu, up by my name, where these bars are, this opens up the full menu and you can see projects again in the same own section here. So let's go to Survey Manager. And this is fairly similar in layout to MPS. If, you, if you're using a Net Promoter score, surveys and smile back, it's the same kind of idea. There's a page where you come to set up and manage the surveys and a page where you can see the results. And we've got some that have been created already. Let's not look at this so much now. Uh, we can come back. What I'm going to do is instead, I'm going to walk you through setting up a new project. And like with everything, this is documented and we have an article that will walk you through this. It's in its own section in the documentation. There will also be some instructions in there about things like updating your permissions so that Smileback can work with projects inside of your ConnectWise PSA setup. And if you've never created a project survey before, when you first land on this page, there'll also be a welcome message that will have links to the sort of things I'm mentioning. And if you're watching a recording of this, please just look underneath the video and I'll put it in the description or the comments under the video. So I'm going to click create new survey. And the first thing that pops up then is we're going to select a company and a project. So this is synced with ConnectWise PSA, is brought in those companies that have projects attached to them and it's brought in the projects themselves. And at the moment, this is how it always starts. I'm going to talk a bit about the roadmap and other options that we might do here later. But for now, just think you've already got your project existing in PSA. So now you're going to set up the survey and smile back for it. So I'm going to choose the Golden Pediatrician Alliance. And there's only one project underneath, they have underneath this full service of endpoints. We can give it a name. Uh, so I'm just going to call it GPA survey. And the first big decision is the schedule options. So as I've been saying, you can survey once on the overall project and you could just do it once if you wanted. So let's say once the project closes, we're going to send out the survey. But I think what would be really valuable is if we also make use of some of the phases inside the project and let's choose one or two of those. So I'm going to do an initial pre-project that gives us a chance to make sure that we really are on the same page with the client. They don't have any lingering questions or doubts before we really get going. 
and then I'm going to do it after the installation configuration. And again, it's once these statuses are closed, we're going to trigger the survey. And as you can see, you can easily unselect these. So let's, if we want to take one of them out, that can be easily done. You know, we can change any of these things. Now I click save and continue. And the next bit is to set up the initial email. So the way this will work is Smileback is going to send an email to your contacts. Um, that email will have the kind of initial question, the greeting and so on in it, and they will be able to launch the actual survey from that. So I'm just going to choose my test logo, Southwest IT, and you see here the email subjects and email introduction are already filled. We've already provided uh, text for this, and that includes these placeholders, so the project name and the contact's name will be brought in automatically. And these can be edited. You can add more here and you can easily reset it back to the default. And we can just get a quick idea of what it looks like. Now click save and continue. And this is where we set up the survey itself. So this is the real, you know, the really important part. And this is different because as you know, with Smileback, we've always gone for the very quick surveys, right? CSAT, you click a face, you can add a comment if you wish. MPS, you click a number from zero to 10, add a comment if you wish. We're sticking with those being simple and quick because we think it works, and we know it works in fact, but for projects, uh, you know, we know we need to go to a bit more depth. So you can add up to five questions and you'll see here, we've got a list of topics that is provided for you. But you don't have to use these, you can add your own. So I'm going to add a few questions from the list. Let's go communication. That is an absolutely vital thing in a project. Let's go issue resolution, because there's always going to be some issues popping up. And let's choose engineering expertise. So those are already in the list. If you decide you don't want one of them, you want to take something out, you can easily do that here. And if you want to add your own topic, you just click into that custom category box and then hit enter or hit the purple arrow there and that'll be added to the list. And if you come back and make a new project survey later, those uh, options you added will be in there. And you can also remove these custom ones. You know, if you just made a typo, if you create something and over time you decide it's not so relevant, you can easily take them out. You can also have just a free uh, text comment box, just like with our other surveys. I'm going to leave that on. It's turned on by default. I think it's a useful thing to have, but if you did want to streamline things to take it out, that is a possibility. Then where we click on preview the survey, this is going to pop open basically a real survey. It's just not going to save the results, but this is what people will see. So they can choose a score from one to five and it's clearly labeled as not satisfied to very satisfied. So I'll click three there you know, five on this one, one on the next, and then that free text box at the end. And they can submit this and they can also skip. They, they don't have to respond to every single question. So if they don't feel like answering every single one, they can also hit skip and finish and we'll still save those questions that they did answer. So again, save and continue. And then lastly, you see we've got the contacts, these have been brought in from ConnectWise PSA. So these are the contacts who are already associated with the project in there. They're all selected by default, but they can be unselected. And you can add more people with manually. So you just type very simple name, last name, and email. If there's anyone extra you want to add, so you can just do it like that. You know, we've really gone for something to try and keep this simple because it's a fairly complex topic. But we're trying to, as much as possible, you know, bring in information that already exists from PSA, save you having to retype everything, set everything up again. But we have are providing those options in case you need it. And then the last thing we get is just a chance to check everything over. So as you can see, it's telling us what are the triggers. So we'll launch the survey. Who is it going to go to? And you can click on edit. You can uh, preview things again. You can go back. So you don't have to launch it at this point. If you realize you want to change something, you can, can just go back and change it. But when you're ready, you just click activate survey. And now once you click activate survey, it's just going to be sitting in Smileback ready, waiting for these conditions to be met. 
So you can come back and pause it, change it, delete it before it's been sent if you wish. And that's what that management page is for. So I'm not going to activate this one because we've already got some examples. Instead, what I'm going to do is go back to the project zoning manager page. And you can see here, we've got some ones that exist already. And we can see what status they're in. So this one has already been sent out. As you can see, complete two to survey periods completed. You can see these check marks. And I think that's the case for all of our test ones in here. But the thing to remember is, as I say, if you haven't actually launched a server yet, if you haven't actually got to that point of the project where it is launched, rather, you can come back here and change things. Once it's gone, it'll just appear in here for reference so you can remind yourself what you've done. And now let's go to the next page, the project survey results. So that's the logo underneath the manager, or again, you can get everything from the main menu. And we can see our results in here for each of our surveys that we set up. So here's one for survey five, and it's the familiar sort of layout for Smileback in the sense that you have the overall scores and metrics at the top and the individual results at the bottom. But of course, this is quite a different style of survey. Uh, so there are some differences there. So for the one I'm demonstrating right now, this survey had two questions, people being asked about engineering expertise, and project management. You can see if they responded to the question, what did they score as? Or if they skipped it, there's just a, a dash there. And then if people have written a comment, that will appear in line. So you can see both the scores and what they've written. And if people, you know, if this was a survey that had multiple triggers, so it's run in different phases and it's run at the end of the, the overall project, you know, you might have more responses from each person in here, in which case you can just look at the survey period column and that will tell you, you know, was this on the overall project status? Was it on one of the phases? And you can even filter that down. So with the show filters here, you can look at the survey period and the contact. So if you're running a bigger one, it's going to lots of people, it's got different stages, you want to focus in on a particular stage, you can do that. And that's it. That's, that's what we've got so far. So it's everything you need to, to get going. It's everything you need to start running project surveys. But I want to talk about our roadmap because while it's ready, it's there, it's good to go. It's not in its final stage. What we've released so far is these, the main features, you know, the absolutely vital parts to get this going, but we will keep working on this. So right now we aren't actively working on project surveys because we're gathering feedback. We're giving people a chance to use it uh, and tell us about it. But through the rest of the year, we are going to be releasing more versions of it with more parts. If you look in the chat right now, Donna has just shared our smileback.canny.io page. That is our interactive roadmap and you can go on and you can see, you know, what are we working on right now? What are we planning to do and what is under review? And as you can see, we've got lots of things already about project surveys in here. So people are writing back and they're saying, you know, I'd like to see this. I'd like to see that. And you can go in here, you can vote on these ideas. You can add comments underneath them. Marissa here is giving me you know more detail about this thing that she's asked for which is great uh, and you can even if you see if you don't see what you're looking for in one of these lists you can submit a completely new request so this is just a, an illustration of what we might add as i put here the final roadmap will differ but i just really want to get across that there's more to come and the more feedback we get you know the more people actually use it in real life the more that's going to help us focus in on the main priorities the main improvements that we can make so having said that, are there any questions? Is possible to send surveys after a project is closed? Yeah, so the project surveys are triggered by either the status of the overall project changing to whichever status you selected as a trigger and or phases within that project that you selected, again, going to status that you've chosen. So for example, you might want to launch at the moment you complete the project, you know, as soon as everything is done, you might move that project to complete and that's what you use as a trigger to send it. Or you may create something like a project phase that you run a little bit after the work itself is done. You know, maybe you like to give people a chance to bed in with it. And then after a week or two weeks or something like that, you complete a phase that's something like testing and feedback. And that's the thing that you use to, to trigger the survey from Smartback. 
So it's, it's very flexible. It's up to you, basically. Okay, next question. Do we need to manually send a survey at desired check and points? No, as I say, it syncs up with PSA. So, you know, if you've got a phase in your projects that's something like check-in one, you know, maybe the project after you've completed the first batch of work, you move into phases called check in one. If you set up your smileback surveys to run when check in one is completed or check in one is opened PSA, then that's when it's, it's going to go out. So again, it just depends how you set up your projects inside of PSA. All right. Can project text reviews be published to website widget? Not currently, no. So things like the website widget, Google reviews, automations, these are things we left out of the initial release. As I was saying in, in the last section there, we went with the kind of essential parts and then we will add in these, let's say, supporting features. That's the kind of thing we'll be adding in later as we go along. But please do go on the, on that caddy roadmap and add or upvote any any ideas like that because that will give us an idea of, of what's a bigger priority for people and what we should be working on sooner. Yeah, is automation consisting of having templates to be reused between surveys? Yeah, that's a great question. So that has been the biggest bit of feedback so far is people saying, can I set this up to just run on all of my future projects or many of my future projects and not going back and setting it for each one? We are looking at that. That's the first thing we are, we're looking at. Uh, as I say, we're not actively developing anything right now. We're still gathering feedback, but, but that one is in, under discussion right now. And we will be soon meeting uh, as a team and start to work out how that will work. It's not a definite addition yet, but it's the thing that we are concentrating most on. I'm just looking here. Yeah, it's this item here on Canny. Set up project surveys for many slash all projects. And as you can see, people have already been interacting and voting on this one. I notice I'm seeing every project we've ever done. Is there a way to exclude closed projects no, that's not actually something we had considered yet. Um, that is a very good question though, and that's something I'm definitely going to look into and I can add to the roadmap. Thanks for all the questions. This is great. This is the most uh, interactive I've had all these in a while. So when you in a survey results and use the fields for contacts, it looks at all the results that contacts or surveys. Yeah, let's go back. Uh, over to the results page. So the way the survey results for project surveys works is it's broken down for each project, each survey for a project. So it, it goes project by project rather than looking across like all of the results from an individual company across all the projects, if that makes sense. That again, that might be something we add, you know, we may add another view or we may add this into the reporting options, the kind of company reports that exist in Smileback. Right now, you go project by project first, that's at the top of the page, and then you filter down into the individual contacts. The person is asking about the closed projects, uh, the, yeah, sending on a closed project or not. Do you want to maybe send me an email or book a time for a call? So you can email us on the help at smileback.com, or if you have a look in the chat, we'll drop a Calendly link and you can use that to book a call where you can get a kind of a one-on-one -on -one walkthrough and, and discussion. That might be uh, the best thing to do. So if you look in the chat now, we just posted a Calendly link there. All right. I think that's all the questions that I can see in my box right now. Yeah. So thank you everyone. As I say, we're very keen to hear more from you, very keen for people to try this out. So do make use of it, smileback.canny.io, go there to leave feedback or to view and uh, add on to other people's feedback. Do book calls with the, the link that's in chat right now. And if you've got any questions you want to email or any support requests for this or anything else, help at smileback.com. And again, the first thing that was posted in chat earlier, if you just scroll up, was the main article for how to set these up, which is here in the Connectwise University. And you'll see there's a project survey section in here. So if you need to go a bit more into any of the details of like updating your security permissions for this to work, you can do that as well. I'm going to end it there and thank you very much everyone for joining. This will be recorded. So once this is on our YouTube channel, I'll also send it around to everyone who registered. So if you want to watch it back, that might be early next week if it's already done tomorrow. 
All right. Thank you, everyone.